Cowboys Nation and YouTubers. It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I make these videos for me and you. And they're a little therapeutic. As we all have something to cheer about on a Victory Monday. Woo! Did I call it though? Did I call it though? In the video I made where the Patriots radio show was talking about how the Cowboys are overrated, I said, watch this. Because the radio hosts aren't the ones playing the game on Sunday. And, and this is a big thing, people started calling this a trap game. Now for weeks, everybody's been saying we've been in trap games. I, for one, said this was not a trap game. Why? Because I honestly believe this team is different than any kind of Jason Garrett era led team. And that's why this is not a trap game because we will not lose. This is a team not built to lose. They have reason to win every week. They don't get discouraged. They don't get down. Uh, Dan Quinn and Kellen Moore are putting these guys in a chance to win every single game. Now, the special teams might give you some heart attacks, but in the long run, this team doesn't know how to lose yet. I know I understand the turnovers and everything, you know, as far as personnel-wise, so certain people don't know what failure looks like, but this team wins in spite of itself. I've seen people trying to cancel Mike McCarthy. They're trying to get rid of him all because of what? A fourth down call that didn't go our way? So what? So what? <coughs> For all the fourth and ones that we don't get, there are the fourth and ones we do get. And it's just those 50-50 coin tosses. Sometimes you make them, sometimes you don't. But this team did not did get discouraged and lose the game. We had chances. We turned the ball over in the red zone. We lost Tyron Smith for a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, the defensive miscommunication giving them a late touchdown. Uh, the missed field goal. I mean, there are times in this game. Oh, oh, the penalties. Let's not talk about the referees. I, I, okay, I'm a Dallas homer, but even I give it New England. There were shit in there that y'all missed and we missed. And these refs were horrible at their jobs on both sides of the ball. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I mean, yes, I saw the face mask on Anthony Brown in overtime. And I was like, whoop, he don't fucked us again. But it wasn't called. Uh, you see, one week, Anthony Brown's the GOAT. Next week, he does something boneheaded that'll screw us over. And that was his moment. He luckily didn't get a call for it. But there's stuff that just gets missed. There's stuff that gets called that's ticky-tack. I mean, referees, again, I'd say we, we just need to win games where the referees aren't going to be a big factor in the results. But what you going to do? Um, but yeah. This team didn't get discouraged at any point to where we'd have just said the F with this and lost the game like we normally would have. So they rose up, they stepped their game up, and they won the game. Dude, get out of here with that. One. And this is a whole lot different team. Now, I give credit where credit's due. The Patriots came out. They put their best foot forward. They said they're not going to buy into the hype of the Cowboys. And they came out and wanted to smack us in the mouth. Mac Jones didn't really have to do anything. Their run game was killer. They ran up the middle. Something we've been preventing. And it worked for them. Uh, the man completed like... 10 straight passes because he only threw the ball like 10 times in the first half. And everyone was a completion. The guy, the guy is good. 
you know, some years down the road, he's going to be good. Uh, Belichick, he's always the same. He's he's the genius that he is for a reason. He knew how to scheme, get his players into position, and do what they had to do. Uh, I'm just happy the curse is over. This is the first time Dallas has beaten the Patriots since 1996. And this is the first time we beat them in New England since 1987. So those monkeys are off our back. Um, Dak broke a bunch of records. Uh, Trayvon Diggs either tied or broke records. Uh, with the missed holding call on Randy Gregory, just for him to turn around and pull up two, two and a half more sacks in the game. <sighs> Pissing off the wrong people. That's all I'm saying. Uh, great game all around. It was a heart attack waiting to happen. Uh, it just showed the mental toughness that this team has now to win the game. Uh, they overcame penalties, like I said. They overcame the long distances. I mean, think about it. Jason Garrett would have said, fuck it. First and long, second and long, third and long, we're going to run the ball and get no yardage. Because that's the way he's programmed. And it would have got us behind the chains and we'd have never converted, regardless of what happened. Because he just never likes to get downfield. Uh... Coop had a quiet night after the half. CD was quiet till the end. Ugh, excuse me. Our tight ends were killer. Our running backs were killer in the passing game. Dak was a stud. Uh, my God. There's just so much to like about what they did, but there's also so much that was bad. Of course, obviously, our center and our left guard getting penalized every time they turned around was not good. Tyron Smith getting flagged, not good. Uh, but they overcame those. I just can't say enough about the effort they put in to want to win this game. They willed themselves to a victory. Uh, congrats to the Cowboys for winning. Congrats to New England for putting up a hell of a game. Uh, man, there, there, I, there's just so much more I want to talk about that I don't want to get into today. Uh, congratulations all around on the team. Uh, we're heading into a bye week. We're taking a three game lead of the division into the bye week. Um, heck, by the time we come off the bye week, we might have a four game lead depending on who, uh, Washington, Philly, and uh, New York play next week. Uh, it's looking good for the NFC East as far as we go, uh, but there's still tough road to hoe. Uh, Got to continue taking it one game at a time. Uh, Minnesota, with Kirk Cousins has been playing this hard these last couple years, is taking damn near miracle plays for us to beat them in the end. So it's not going to be a cakewalk. It's not going to be easy. But if we continue doing it, excuse me, what we've been doing, and grinding these games out with our new culture, our new coaching, and our will to win, and these young hungry pups out here on the offensive defense, good things will happen. That's what I believe. But uh, we'll talk more about this tomorrow. Uh, we'll see if anything comes down the wire as far as anybody coming back designated re to return from uh, IR or you know Gallup or anything like that. We'll see as the week goes by uh, who's getting rehab. Uh, more than likely, Tyron, Dak, you know some of the guys that have been nicked up, banged up. Uh, they'll get some time off. Um, and we'll go from there. All right. Again, thank you for sharing, liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. This is VA Dallas Cowboy Fan. Out.